Well, there's a lot of excitement surrounding electric vehicles these days, and more of them are on Utah roads. Rocky Mountain Power today hosted an electric vehicle car show to show off the latest options. As new specialist Jed Bull shows us, EVs are changing and becoming a choice for more drivers. It's National Drive Electric Week. And with recently announced federal tax incentives and expanding charging capabilities, more Utahns are driving electric, saving money, and polluting less. We're at the beginning of the change. James Campbell, the Innovation and Sustainability Director for Rocky Mountain Power, says we're at the threshold of rapid adoption of electric vehicles. We're right at that spot where it's about to take off. The surge in gas prices has people thinking electric. The fuel is cheaper and you don't have the operating costs. So those things have finally come together now where the transition's beginning. The environmental benefits make a big difference on the Wasatch Front where our tailpipes are the greatest polluters. Electric vehicles are definitely a really important part of the big picture strategy for cleaning up Utah's air. But it's the performance and expanded capabilities that are catching the consumer's attention. Part of that buzz is the fact that the technology is finally there. David Eccles with Merge Electric Fleet Solutions let me drive his Ford F-150 Lightning all-electric pickup. The things that you really notice are how smooth, how quiet, and how responsive the vehicle are. An $80,000 electric truck for a person who wants a real truck with four-wheel drive. It hits all of the marks that people are looking for in a truck. On a quiet road with no traffic, we tested the acceleration. Wow. If that doesn't put a smile on your face, I don't know. You might yeah. need to <laughs> well, check we your pulse. We <laughs> want to break any laws out here, but we went from zero to 60 about as quick as you can go in a truck this size. The speed of a sports car with the functionality of a pickup. That's really great for construction workers and, and job sites and even you know how it's running the power on these um, food trucks here right now. An extension cord from the Lightning powered the food truck. Enough power for a work site or a campsite without polluting the air. Before you had maybe a more environmentally conscious person who would look for an EV, where now it's kind of shifted to more of a performance and cost. Next spring, Rocky Mountain Power is working with UDOT to install 20 charging stations around the state so that all of those electric drivers can have better range. For KSL 5 News, I'm Jed Bull.